uh, a collaborative poem. Um, it's a collaboration between me and the editors of the New York Times. Um, they don't know that uh, we've collaborated, but we yeah. have. Um, and uh, all the words in the poem, uh, with the exception of one, are theirs. Uh, I, I trust it'll be easy enough for you to figure out which uh, word is mine. All fucking decent people feel fucking sorrow and fucking righteous fury about the latest fucking slaughter of innocents in fucking California. Fucking law enforcement and fucking intelligence agencies are searching for fucking motivations, including the fucking vital question of how the fucking murderers might have been connected to fucking international terrorism. That is right and fucking proper. But motives do not fucking matter to the fucking dead in fucking California, nor did they in fucking Colorado, fucking Oregon, fucking South Carolina, fucking Virginia, fucking Connecticut, and far too many fucking other places. The attention and anger of Americans should also be directed at the fucking elected leaders, whose job is to keep us fucking safe, but whose who place a higher fucking premium on the fucking money and fucking political power of an industry dedicated to fucking profiting from the unfettered fucking spread of ever more powerful fucking firearms. It is a fucking moral outrage and a national fucking disgrace that civilians can legally purchase fucking weapons designed specifically to fucking kill people with brutal fucking speed and efficiency. These are fucking weapons of war, barely modified and fucking deliberately marketed as tools of fucking macho vigilantism and even fucking insurrection. America's elected leaders offer fucking prayers for gun victims and then callously and without fear of consequence reject the most basic fucking restrictions on weapons of fucking mass killing as they did on Thursday. They distract us with fucking arguments about the word terrorism. Let's be clear, these spree killings are all, in their own ways, acts of fucking terrorism. Fucking opponents of gun control are saying, as they do after every fucking killing, that no law can unfailingly forestall a specific fucking criminal. That is fucking true. They are talking many, they are talking many with sincerity about the constitutional challenges to effective fucking gun regulation. These challenges fucking exist. They point out that determined fucking killers obtained weapons illegally in places like France, England, and Norway that have fucking strict gun laws. Yes, they did. But at least those fucking countries are trying. The fucking United States is not. Worse, fucking politicians abet would-be killers by creating fucking gun markets for them, and voters allow those politicians to keep their fucking jobs. It is past time to stop fucking talking about halting the spread of fucking firearms and instead to reduce their fucking number drastically, eliminating some large categories of fucking weapons and ammunition. It is not necessary to debate the, f the fucking particular wording of the Second Amendment. No right is unlimited and fucking immune from reasonable regulation. Certain kinds of fucking weapons, like the slightly modified combat rifles used in California, and certain kinds of fucking ammunition, must be fucking outlawed for civilian ownership. It is impossible to define those fucking guns in a clear and effective way. And yes, it would require Americans who own those kinds of fucking weapons to give them up for fucking the good of their fellow citizens. What better fucking time than during a fucking presidential election to show at long last that our fucking nation has retained its fucking sense of decency.